<laughs> Ra Hogamir, Punch Out Boxing, delighted to be here with uh, Victorious Newman Hussain, uh, Southern Area Final Eliminate, I believe. Uh, yeah, you got stoppage over Fire Din. I have to be honest, being Bengali, I was sort of rooting for Fayek. I like you as well. He's Bengali. What? Yeah. You're Bengali? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Fayek. You're, you're dumb. <laughs> Where did Fayek's you dumb. I just presumed you were British Pakistani. Yeah, no, but, I get that. Was, uh, yeah. um, okay, well, you need to you, you need to big up the, uh, <laughs> your Bengal heritage a bit yeah. more. And then, um, yeah, I wouldn't have felt so deflated. But yeah. now I've, I've been rejuvenated. Well, um, it made sense to have that fight here in uh, yeah, Bethnal yeah, Green. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, tell us about the fight. Uh, apart from the first one, I thought you were in control for most of it. Yeah, it was honestly a tough fight. It was a brilliant fight. Um, I think, I think I could have done, I could have done a lot better. I could have got him out of there sooner, had I listened to my corner and listened to the game plan. I think I got a bit too excited after the second round, and I just thought, oh, let's. I wanted to have a bit of a fight with him. Started loading up on shots, started throwing singles and two, ones and twos, and then whatever it got, it could have been a, a bit more cleaner. But I'm happy overall. I got seven rounds in with a tough opponent, and I feel like it was a fan friendly fight. And uh, I kind of, I've only done six uh, six rounds before, so I pressed past six rounds, and I was able to get stoppage in the seventh or eighth. So I'm kind of happy with that. It ticks a couple of boxes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I actually thought though uh, you were finding the jab and the right hand quite easily like, like I said from the second round yeah I was I, I was finding it but I, again like if you've got 10 rounds you have to assume the other guy has got 10 rounds in him he's got two stoppages he's done I think four or five six rounders before so I've only done one six rounder so I he's probably got a second wind you know there's two sides to a fight the first half and the second half so I didn't want to underestimate him and he did he started coming back I think in the fourth or fifth, he had a bit of success and it was because I was getting a bit lazy. Went to the corner, they shouted at me a little bit, sprayed some water on me, woke up, went back out there and got the job done. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, a bit, bit of a jump, as you said, though. I mean, there, there used to be a time where you prospects would have like a dozen six-rounders yeah, before going. But um, yeah, your first championship level fight and you're now on the cusp of history. First yeah. British Bengali to win a title. I, I do believe so. Oh, thank you. I did. I didn't know I was. I was, I was doing that, but yeah, <laughs> let's do it. So, Southern Area title fight is that what you want next? Yeah, I mean, all I want is meaningful fights. I don't care if it's for a belt. I want bragging rights. I want clout. I want to beat people. Who I want to beat prospects. I want to fight only prospects. Mm -hmm. There's no point in me fighting somebody and winning and they're just there for a paycheck. I want to beat somebody who's got something to offer that puts me up in the ranking, puts me in title contention. Because I don't want to be boxing for a very long time. I've got two, three years, four years tops and I'm out. So I want I want all the necessary fights. So I understand where I am. And I, anyone that's above me on the ranking, I'm happy to box. So this puts me in a position to get the Southern Area title. I would love to box for that. After that, I will, honestly, I'll vacate it the next day and I'll move on to the next thing. I, like I say, I've, I've, I just, I'm only going up. I only want tough fights. Because that honestly brings out the best in me. Like... I've sparred some of the best people like Masood. So why am I having fights with guys who are just here for a bit? I want meaningful fights. It was well and truly graduation day in that sense. Uh, do, do you and your team, have you looked at who might be uh, available for that Southern area? I know Michael Weber Kane had it and then vacated yeah, yeah. it. So I, I think Frank Arnold is in line. Um, we're happy to say that. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. Whoever it may be, we're happy to say As long as I get given a proper camp, I'm happy to box anybody at my weight. All right. Uh, Masood, I've got to ask you, obviously uh, you've boxed at a high level and you've done a lot of sparring with this man. Um, super full weight's a hot division. From here on, it's the business end of his career. No more easy fights. It's, they're going to they're gonna be wars. How do you think he shapes up against uh, that, those levels? I think he does quite well. Um, honestly speaking, I don't know what he's talking about saying, oh, that was a hard fight. I thought it was pretty one-sided. If I'm being honest, I do think he could have got the fight finished a lot sooner. But again, from, I think, around two, three onwards, it was a, pretty much a landslide towards Newman's side. And it was just a matter of time. Like, when's he going to stop him? When's the fight going to get stopped? It wasn't, it wasn't in the sense where it was back and forth. It was just, Newman was just pounding away and that was it. 
All right. Well, uh, we'll have to see where that that title opportunity comes. Uh, would Would you be interested in having a, a fight in Bangladesh? I would love to fight in Bangladesh. I'll fight anywhere. I'll fight in the backyard. Honestly, I would love to back box in Bangladesh, <laughs> but I don't know if it's um, is it um, a popular but sport really there? Does, it's not popular, but there is professional boxing in Bangladesh, yeah, and uh, I'm yeah. happy to. I mean, I've boxed wherever, but I boxed in Italy. I've uh, Belgium for as an amateur, I've Rotterdam and stuff like that. It's exciting. It's lovely to go somewhere else and see how they put on shows and how they greet you and how they kind of represent boxing. Like they do, you know, like you've got the Cubans, the Americans. So yeah, I'd love to, but I'll box anyway. That, that would be fantastic. Um, you arrange it and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, I mean, guys like yourself, obviously Hamza Uddin from up uh, in Walsall, he's with Matchroom being touted as a future star. You're, you're pioneers. Yeah, yeah. As you said, boxing never really took off in the Indian subcontinent, yeah, certainly yeah. not in Bangladesh. So you guys, I guess, are leading the way. And no, you win that Southern Area title. Definitely. Like I said, it's a, it's a milestone. I'm a, I'm a massive fan of Fayak. I love what he's doing because he really promotes himself. He he didn't have to take this fight. He could have easily took another route. But he honestly, he's like, he puts himself out there. It's, it's fucking brave for him to do that. He doesn't have a lot of amateur experience etc he's like jumped in the deep end he's had eight fights in like a year or two years that's, that's pretty impressive and like he's got two stoppages he's active even now when i went to saw him he's very disappointed so he's, he's really passionate so honestly i wish him all the best we'll reach out to him and see if we can work together spar together because honestly i really support what he's doing especially for like you say the bengali community we're a minority of a minority in this sport so uh yeah 100 percent. i think he's got a lot to offer and like honestly outside the ring he's a gentleman I, I really get on we really get on with him so we'd love to if we can help him in any way fantastic yes indeed it's lovely to hear uh, boxing is that sort of a family oh, well, one last thing uh, could you and your missus do a unique thing and both have title fights on the same card that'd be another bit of history yeah do you know what I uh, essentially I think originally we were supposed to we were scheduled to box together a lot of times it just never materialized because she's signed to different um uh she's signed to a different management promotion group but she's just been released from her contract so there's 100 percent uh opportunity of that honestly i'm a little bit reluctant of it because when i'm boxing she literally does all my meal preps she does like she looks after our son etc so if she's boxing i'm boxing it's going to be a bit tricky but no 100 percent. i think it, i would love to do that i think it'll be tick the box like we train together anyway. I think 100% would love to do that before we both retire. Wow, there's some truth in that saying. Uh, but it's a new one. Uh, couples who box together stay together. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Coach, uh, any words? Would you like a trip to Bangladesh? Yeah. yeah. yeah Finding my wife. You know? I've got one of those. Yeah, we'll get you another one. You, yeah, I don't mind. You've done really well. Thank That's you. the best I've seen you. Thank we you. only get on fight night. <laughs> I, no, I love you all the time. You know yeah, I do. Yeah. But we, we, you know what, Newman? I knew when I saw you, and I actually knew when I spoke to you this morning what was going to happen. I know you by your emotions, mm -hmm. and then uh, whether you know you could have done the job earlier or whatever, you did the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you got out of the way. And sometimes I call you randomly, and we've been speaking about this fight for how long? Mm -hmm. and it's done now. Yeah. Well done. You know, enjoy great the moment. Game. And Fayak's a great guy. Got a lot of respect for him. I like Fayak a lot. Lovely guy. Shouldn't feel down about it. It's just a fight, not personal. And there'll be loads of fights for him. There'll be loads of fights for Newman. But enjoy your moment. You've done really well. Um, and then you do a thousand left hooks Monday. <laughs> Back to work Monday. Newman, Hussein, congratulations. Thank you so much. And I uh, look forward to seeing you, you. Uh, make a bit of history soon. Yeah.